Forget this, gang. Looks like we finally get to take it easy for a change. President LaGuardia has invited us all to a big soiree in beautiful downtown New York. A high society ball on the top floor of the Lang Tower. <laughs> Looks like you sorry mugs are heroes. I just wish we didn't have to wear these monkey suits. I feel like a dope in this. You look like one too, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now listen up. I'm only gonna say this once, see? I want you clowns on your best behavior tonight. Aww. That's right, no spike in the punch, no joy rides with the senator's wives like last time, and absolutely no... Boss! Boss! You, you should really pick up the radio! It's Blake belly aching about us being late, tell him to go soak his head. <laughs> it's not Blake, Skipper, it's Lucas Miles. Put him through, Sparks. Good evening, Nathan. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Skip it, Lucas. What do you want? What do I want? I want satisfaction. You've ruined a lot of hard work, Nathan. You know that, don't you? And you could have been a part of it, too, if you had the spine. Ah, oh, but you couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? Had to come back. You had to spite me. Well, I think a little payback is in order. What on earth are you up to, Miles? I'm talking about payment in blood, Nathan. My pound of flesh, if you will. As we speak, my men and I are over the streets of Manhattan, sending as many of its fine residents to their maker as possible. What? That's right, Zachary. And it's all your fault. And how do you figure that? You pushed me too hard, Nathan. You know me. Someone pushes, I push back. It's as simple as that. So consider this mayhem and murder of the innocent. Your reward for all your hard work. Congratulations. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've killing to tend to. Oh, that son of a... Captain, tell me we're gonna do something. Something real bad to that fruitcake. Damned right we are. Everybody, get to your planes. It's high time we finish this. Once and for all. Up, everybody. Who knows what kind of a trap we're flying into? Attention, Black Hat fighters! There's the Pandora! Rip it out of the sky! We got company, Skipper! Black Hat fighters inbound! Fortune Hunters? Give them the business! Dante gang, let's take her down. Aerial torpedoes are cleared to fire. Ah, what took you so long, Zachary? And you brought your merry men, too. I see. Good, good. I want you all to experience it. It's about time you close up, my dear Rock Miles. Why don't you come on out and fight like a man? She's a little more sissy. That's why. You can't be serious. Sorry to break the news to you, Boy Scout, but King Arthur and Chivalry are both dead. No, I'm going to stay right here and blow you all to hell. Take the sound, of course. Don't count on it, son. The Dante's 
almost crippled, fellas. Give her all you got. You already botched your first chance to kill me, Zachary. This time, it's my turn. Hunters, beat the other fighters back, but leave me alone with Miles. He's mine. You got it, Cap. So, Zachary, interested in a bit of a wager? A game of follow the leader? I don't think so, Screwball. Oh, I think you will, Zachary. In fact, I'm sure of it. After all, you wouldn't want anything to happen to Miss Cooper now, would you? <coughs> Lana? Didn't I tell you? She'll be the prize in our little bet. You win this contest, and I'll let her go. I win, or you refuse to take my offer, and our little Lana will find herself stepping out high over Manhattan. Without a parachute. Come now, Zachary. I'll even give you a handicap. Spot you three obstacles. All you have to do is follow me. Surely you've got nerve enough for that. I don't have much of a choice, do I? Now you're catching on. All right, Miles, you're on. But you'd better be on the level about Lana. For I promise that when I get done with you, you'll wish you were dead. So, the heroes 
Not as good as his newspaper clippings. <laughs> Not good enough, Zachary. You'll never be good enough to beat me. Playtime's over, Zachary. It's time to get serious. But first, let me drop a bit of excess baggage. <laughs> By the way, I lied about giving her this parachute. Damn it, woman, let go! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Lana got her parachute after all. Never underestimate a woman, Miles. Shut up, Zachary. That woman almost took out my eyes. I'm bleeding. <laughs> She's got spunk, I'll give her that. Anyway, now it's just you and me, Zachary. Shall we? I'm gonna shoot out your fuel tank, and you'll burn, Zachary. Burn like I did over Cuba. This isn't over, Zachary. You can't kill me. <laughs> Say, Miles, when you get to hell, tell him Nathan Zachary sent you. Looks like I missed the party. Swan? I thought you weren't in the hero business. I'm not. I just don't like the idea of owing you a favor. Well, you're too late, sister. <laughs> I guess I'll have to collect on that favor later. Listen to me, son. You need to think about your future. Now that you're becoming respectable again, Zachary, you need a place to settle down. You need the right friends to help you start fresh. Thanks to this whole sacred trust affair, Blake Aviation's getting more customers than ever. We're hungry for good pilots, Zachary. We pay well and we're willing to forget past mistakes. Sorry to disappoint you, old boy, but me and my crew are already spoken for. What? You've been hired out already? Who are the lucky devils? Let's just say I have a hot date with a tall, beautiful dame in, uh, Canada. Sparks, I'm getting an awful lot of interference on this frequency. See what you can do about it. Yes, sir. Zachary, don't you cut me off again. I want you. If I pass across again, I will show you no mercy. I will... Now you can patch me through to you-know-who. Already done, sir. She's on the private channel. Appreciate it, Sparks. Swan? Nathan? Ready for our next business venture, partner? Don't sweet-talk me. I heard what you told the old man. I know, I know. We decided on the diamonds and chili. But I've been thinking, what if that archaeologist was right? Mr. Zachary, may I remind you the man's in a sanitarium? True, but according to his findings, the goddess is at least 30 feet high and made of solid gold. I must tickle your fancy, even just a little. Mm, I don't know, Zachary. I had my heart set on diamonds, and I can be very stubborn. We can settle this with words or actions. If you won't reconsider, I will be forced to initiate a boarding action. Hmm, winner takes all. The usual terms and conditions? Commencing tonight at, uh, say, eight? No promises, pirate. But I am thinking your chances have just improved.
Thank you.